Welcome back to another video on Brown Dust 2. Now in today's video what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the latest maintenance that will be coming out which will be showing us a bunch of new stuff that will be coming to the game as well as two new characters and a lot more interesting stuff. So um, if you guys are excited for all of this stuff tell me down in the comment section. Um, there is two characters that has been introduced or will be coming out in this update and I will be making a separate video going over who you should be summoning for so make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure that post notification is on so that you guys don't miss out on that video it's going to be very very important and um, if you guys enjoyed this video you like this new update go ahead and click the like button of this video and let's get right into it so this is the october 11th maintenance and the maintenance is going to be from 7 50 all the way to 10 50 so it's a three hour maintenance not that long to be honest now the first thing first thing we need to take a look at is the fiend hunter period so we can actually start hunting now so the hunting period is is officially going to be out um, when the maintenance is over so the hunter period for the giant feed um sorry darkness devourer will start in chapter or character park one jaden gate you guys should already know this if you guys have been playing for a while uh touch the go to battle function on the bottom of the fiend hunter metal to enter the battle immediately so this is going to be the boss or the mob we're going against um so in each character pack where the fiend hunter progresses, a boss level fiend called a darkness devourer appears. You, already guys, you guys already know about this stuff, I'm not going to repeat it, but this is the boss we're going against. Um, you can proceed with the fiend hunter content after claiming the main quest of character pack 1, Jaden Gate. So if you guys have been playing since day 1, you guys should have already done this, but if you're a new player, to have the opportunity to take part with this new fiend hunter, make sure you are make sure you have gone ahead and completed the character pack 1. Now to enter the fiend hunter menu, you just have to press that little monster icon over there and you guys are going to enter this uh, menu over here. So right now, before the battle was available, we could only look at battle information, but uh, after the maintenance, we will be able to go into the battle. Uh, during the hunting period, you can check information on the giant feed. Uh, during the hunting period, you can enter battle right away by touching to uh, go to go into battle over here. Um, if you touch go into battle in a pack where a giant fiend does not appear, you will enter the pack where a giant feed appears. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, the Fiend Hunter UI button is not activated in the welcome pack. Okay, we don't care. Um, how to join the Hunter period? Do you, if you succeed in defeating a giant feed, you can immediately challenge the next level giant feed. Uh, fiend, sorry. Even if you fail to defeat the battle fiend, the record of the maximum damage inflicted that day is saved. Starting at 5 a.m. KST, you guys might need to. Um, see what time this is for you you can continue the battle with the fiend whose hp has been deducted based on the maximum damage inflicted the previous day the ranking is determined based on the highest level and hp remaining of the giant fiend during reached during the one week hunting period don't forget this is a one week hunting period make sure you do your runs make sure you go ahead and try and complete it there's a bunch of amazing resources you want to be claiming so the ranking period calculation method or the ranking per calculation method sorry ranking are calculated in order of the level of the giant fiend slain we already know that uh if they are on the same level the ranking is determined by the remaining hp of the giant fiend um if the remaining hp is the same the ranking is determined by the highest amount of damage recorded in the first turn and this is the rewards per level so from level 1 to level 10 you get to draw tickets of 5 so um, 5 times 10 that is about 50 draw tickets you can get for completing level 1 to 10 if you guys are not able to go even higher that is fine but make sure you always go ahead and try and complete all the way to level 10 you want that draw ticket this is absolutely amazing new way to get resources to you know start summoning for the characters especially when we have two new banners are coming out you want to make sure you have a lot of draw tickets to summon for them so hey very very important and after clearing level 10 uh, from level level 11 all the way to 20 you get gold instead now not the main priority but gold is definitely still very very important so if you're getting completed even higher obviously ranking as well is very important go ahead and do this now i do like the ranking position or the placing isn't too annoying I personally think I'm just going to be ranking like the this one over here. So I'm probably only going to get in five draw tickets. But the difference isn't much. But if you guys are like hardcore players, whales, uh, you can go try and uh, push even higher. But like I said, the difference in draw tickets don't really seem to, that much to me. To really warrant me trying to, you know, go balls deep, I guess. Um, 
exploiting being weaknesses so this is going to be important for you guys who are trying to build the best team so attacking the weak points of the giant feed can cause greater damage than attacking other parts of the fiend um I'm going to make a separate video, I think, all on this Fiend system, going over, like, guide for it. So I think I can skip all of this, guys. But if you guys are interested in looking at more of this information, I feel like some of this information we already know of. But if you guys are interested, go over to Brandos to look at the new section and try and get the um, information or read the information that you guys are interested in. Um, ooh, I think I just realized that my cursor was not showing. Wow, so okay that's fine anyways um so i'm just gonna keep scrolling it down npc alien is added to the story pack can change the level okay cool 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 um dual record system update okay so this is great now we know um do, 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 do. we know uh how many draws we've done you can check your draw records by touching draw records in there and then draw set record you can check the results of draw and gear drawn within the last seven days uh, this is spoiler new character coming out uh snow white initially i thought this is for um what's that Sc scara hazade or you know i'm gonna butcher the character name i apologize but i thought that was her but it's actually a new character you can tell by that weapon over here is also being very very different oh and also at the same time it looks like we're gonna be getting angelica like the base version of her um gonna be available as well spoiler i think she's good um i haven't really taken a deep dive into this character skill but like i said i will make a separate video very very important to know who is the character you want to be summoning for so make sure you are subscribed so that you guys don't miss out on that so this is draw records over here showing you guys what you got blah 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 doesn't really matter wait was this yeah doesn't really matter um other improvement after the updates you can check the amount the account win rates in the attack uh I just don't like pvp what can i say <laughs> skip now the most important one i feel that like everyone is interested in is the new character and the new gears that are coming out so snow white Ven ventana ventana yeah hopefully i didn't butcher the name i i know a lot of people hate it when i butcher the names for characters apologies and ventana's exclusive gear evil sword popper moon that is a pretty cool name i just <laughs> she doesn't look that uh, menacing from the name it says evil sword this does not look like evil sword i know this is a costume obviously so oh wait that means the base version is going to look badass oh i can't wait for this base version of uh ventana to come out she's going to be very very cool actually uh look at that um assets i guess <laughs> so yeah this is the new character this is the uh skills over here so if oh sp cost is five this is the attack range as well so if okay not bad actually the attack range is good sp cost is five though hmm. so that means you definitely want to get to plus three to get that sp cost to four so that you can have more teams you can use with her um anyway she's gonna be coming out from the maintenance all the way to the 25th of october so you have enough time to well i say enough time but it depends on how much resources you have so inflict physical damage or so she's a physical damage character um equal to 200 percent of attack to the enemy in the to the enemy if the enemy is in taunt state or a concentrated fire state not gonna lie i don't know what a concentrated fire state is so guys do your thing tell me down in the comment section deals physical damage equal to 400 percent so it looks like this character is specific against specific enemies so any enemies that taunt any enemies that have concentrated fire state then she is going to be dealing extra damage to them oh this might be great against um okay we recently got is it garcia no not garcia gracia oh, i've forgotten the name of the character recently got her and she has the ability to turn she's pretty menacing in pvp um so this enemy looks like she wants to counter her um but then again as long as we don't have that many taunt characters in pvp actually no we do have kind of a menacing amount a decent amount that are very very annoying to deal with so this character could be um like i said very unique against specific enemies so it's not going to be like oh this character is good for every single content so um take that as you will so all the way to plus five the percentage value is increased down 700 percent oh quite naughty i ain't gonna lie so for her oh yeah physical so yeah she can crit so the fact that the exclusive abilities crit damage I, uh, this character is going to be hitting hard isn't it especially if obviously 
you are an enemy with font states or concentrated fire state the damage done to you guys is going to be insane so for that reason pretty good character and then we have angelica who looks so beautiful all my days i'm not gonna lie angelica now is my favorite character in the game i don't care what anyone has to say so the fallen angelica costume an exclusive gear is gonna be out as soon as she got an exclusive banner like it's like because consistently I think yeah she just recently got a banner I think the banner is still out right now actually um obviously maintenance is going to kick in we get a different version of Angelica I wonder if we can get this Angelica from the um from the inn since he is the base version the game should give us a way to get the base version without actually summoning summoning just like they did with other characters in the game so we will need to check on that. Uh, I don't think they will do it for now, but maybe in the future. So the Fallen Angelica costume, I am actually liking her a little bit more. I can't lie though, the range, I don't really like it, but everything else seems to be pretty good from Angelica. So the SP cost being at three, mm -mm -mm, amazing. Now obviously if you get this to plus three, the SP cost goes down all the way to two. Um, sorry about that. And uh, skill effect, so at plus zero, damage received is is reduced by 50%. Now, other version, I believe the damage received is reduced by 75%, but still 50% is quite decent, I guess. Um, additionally, inflicts magical damage to the enemy equal to 30% of the enemy's maximum HP. Now, 30%, obviously there is a limit on the amount of man damage you can do, but if you can crit, nutty, pretty nutty, guys. Um, and then obviously as you get more copies for this character at plus five i can't lie the damage is going to be quite good only issue like i said is the range it is quite unique of a range and i don't think many stages actually you could probably hit two enemies now with this range actually no three so one there the middle one and there huh that means you probably want to place her in the middle to get the maximum effect or depending on how the enemy is positioned huh you're not you're probably not going to be able to hit one two three four five people but i think three is possible so the one in the middle there and the one there and the one there it should be possible for you guys to actually deal damage to them actually so yeah not bad not bad um and like i said all the way to plus five damage is reduced by 50 percent nothing changes additionally it fixed magical damage to the enemy equal to 60 percent of the enemy's maximum hp plus the crit I think Angelica is one of my favorites. In terms of like damage dealing, I think Angelica is just simply amazing for that. Um, I, I I feel like it makes her more future proof as well because it's just based on the enemy's maximum HP. So as long as there's enemies with a huge amount of damage, she can just um, a huge amount of HP, she can just keep consistently dealing good damage, I guess. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, see, I was right. So the fallen, so this section over here, the fallen Angelica costume appears at a pub uh pack one to nine can be recruited with uh yep good um powder of hope shop after so i can okay if i get one copy from the in that's one powder of hope shops that's two i will try and summon for her so that's three so only plus two oh don't forget plus three the sp cost goes down all the way to two so i think her damage is going to be pretty good and don't forget exclusive ability crit damage 90 percent so voila voila sorry and then we also have information on the future banners let's see yeah uh no robin hood zenith yeah yeah we do have information on future characters coming out so the robin hood zenith the adventure of the unknown diana are going to be coming out um then exclusive gear pickup schedule yeah okay you understand and then for the powder of hope shots for those of you guys who are very very interested in this um so so this is the one that's coming out now so neon savior angelica is going to be added the red riding hood rue i'm not gonna lie i probably will claim the red riding hood rue i might also get alice glacier so it's glacier not garcia or gracia it's glacier so alice Glac glacier i did manage to pull her exclusive equipment from a free single so i might actually go in to grab a copy of her as well she's quite unique of a character as well so i might do that so, um and then we also have vanguard gray oh actually i want vanguard gray he is good he's very very good and then after that um the next one will be uh snow white Vendetta, the fallen angelica the cursed cecilia sharpshoot of the mist gray as well and uh, mirror war shop killer door oh killer door is that the no that's the one with the huge sp cost i probably won't be getting this but for those of you who are interested and then the blood glutton justia as well 
it is going to be added into the golden thread shop as well and uh, i think that is all the stuff that is interesting or good or worth noting from the update so tell me down in the comment section what you guys think about this latest um, information sorry that this video is very long um the two new characters that are coming out look absolutely fantastic i love angelica more I, I can't even lie the way she looks and her weapon design beautiful um and i'm actually leaning towards getting angelica more simply because all of her costumes are actually pretty good i i can't even lie anyways that's all i wanted to make a video on stage for more content on snow um brand us 2 sorry it's been a boy ac gamer and i'm out